wonderful day here at the State House to be surrounded by so many conservatives. We have so many conservative groups that have come to stand against this obnoxious budget. Ms. Landis, I thank you with the Policy Council for bringing, bringing this press conference together. We have some groups that are normally associated with social issues. The Baptist, Palmetto Family Council, Citizens are like they're standing against this obnoxious budget. Let me tell you how bad this budget really is. In a budget that spends over $20 billion, with a B, $20 billion, there is a tax code in it. There is a tax code in it. There is an amount spent that will lead to a tax cut in every employer, to every employer in this state. You know how much that tax code is? It will help. It will help every employer in this state is $100 million. For every dollar, we have taken less than half a penny and returned it to the taxpayer. That's obnoxious. That's awful. With a billion more dollars this year, don't you think we can return to the taxpayer just a little bit more than a fraction of a penny? I'm not voting for this budget. There are a lot of things that are going to have to change before I can even dream about voting for this budget. I've never voted for a budget since I've been elected. This is the worst budget I have ever seen. Hopefully, hopefully in the Senate we're on third reading and it's hard to take up amendments, but we're gonna try. We're gonna and try to we're gonna try to improve this awful, awful budget in the history of South Carolina. Thank you very much.
It's growing this year. It is not scrutinized ever by our legislature. Once it's set up, these fees and fines are an automatic price. Today we're going to consider provisos to the budget that would rebate some of those increases, in fact all of those increases, to the taxpayers so you can spend your own money. Please watch the way your senators are voting and let your beliefs be conveyed to them. It makes a huge difference in this outcome of this war over who is going to spend your money. Thank you. Thank you. Terry Kittler, uh, founder of a little grassroots organization that I don't know if everybody here has heard about it, but I can assure you everybody that is elected in this building has heard about it. Rhino Hunt. A little over a year ago, our Speaker of the House created something he called Drive for 75. He told us that we needed more Republicans in this state house. Then we turn around and we have a budget that came out of the House that is so much larger than last year's budget. And I'm sure that we'll hear in the upcoming elections that we need more Republicans in the state Senate. I'm here to tell you that we don't need more Republicans. We need real Republicans yes. in the House. A section out of the South Carolina Republican Party platform dealing with budget, deficit, and transparency. I'll do this quickly. The 2000 and 2008 elections at national level rightly chastised the Republican leadership in Congress for earmarking and the reckless growth of government spending. The South Carolina Republican Party deplores irresponsible manner in which the state and federal governments have handled fiscal policy related to the budget, whether through the acclamation of mammoth national debt, which under, undercuts the general welfare of today's citizens and future generations, or the irresponsible growth of state government spending at an unsustainable level. That's just one section. These people want to tell you that they are Republicans. If they are voting for this budget, they are not Republicans and they need to be replaced. that we're watching what you do and we don't like it. The election cycle of 2012 is just around the corner and we will remember who gave us the largest budget in state history. The rhino hunt is on. Don't make yourself a target for replacement. Thank you for coming and stay in touch. Thank you.